Kara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today I wanted to go over how to use the seller interviews sheet. And this is for finding seller clients. And this is doing interviews with your past clients. It could be prospective clients. It could be with another agent. But what you're trying to do is to generate leads by showing how you work with seller clients, okay? So the worksheet is broken down into different areas like demographics. So you may be um, talking to a single mom, somebody who's moving up, moving down. Are you working with seniors? This is a little bit like your niche. Um, if I was, if I had a niche, I would be focusing on people that fit into that niche. Say you decided to work with all people with big families, right? You would do a lot of interviews and talk to a lot of people who bought large houses, who um, you helped move up, things like that. So you're going to want to really think about what type of seller it is, and you're preparing yourself for the interview here. What amenities are you looking at for a house? Like, do you sell... When I lived in Colorado, one of my friends used to sell a lot of houses in the mountains. And so you would want to talk a lot about issues that happen in the mountains. Say um, they have septic tanks up there because there's no sewer, uh, how to get snow removal, things like that. So what you're doing is you're trying to attract other sellers who have these questions by talking to your current clients, right? You can even go back and call clients that you worked with years ago and say, hey, my marketing person's making me do these videos. Do you mind if we do a quick Zoom call and talk about how this worked when I was selling your home for you? All right, parts of the real estate process. Now, there are a million and a one videos that are 10 ways to get your house uh, ready for sale, something like that. But what I'm talking about here is like my dad just sold um, his house in zero days with my bestie realtor friend, Deb. And um, they it's a seller's market and it sold in zero days. But that's because she priced it at 300000 Now they could have priced it at three ten, dollars maybe, they could have priced it at $290 and tried to get multiple offers, but she did it at $300, so in the database, she would get the people that were looking $300 to $325 and also $300 to $275, right? Up and down the, the thing, which doubled her pool of buyers. So you want to make sure that you have videos that talk about your pricing strategies like that. And she could do a little interview with my dad and say, Hey, how did this process go? You wound up getting a full price offer. I know you could have gotten a little bit more. Well, he sold to an investor who's going to take care of his tenants that he had. And that's a bigger draw for him than getting $10,000 more or something like that. So those are the kinds of things I'm talking about. When you're doing this, you want to talk about that particular seller and what their reaction was to you helping them work, but it's also how to help somebody else who may have those kinds of questions. That way they know, like, and trust you when they get ready to hire a realtor. And down here, you're going to put in your, the, the type. So you're going to try to get four or five videos out of this interview with your client. So in talking to my dad, you may get, um, how to price your property in a seller's market. You may get how to prepare your house getting ready for sale. You may get how to uh, sell a multifamily property, how to be a move-up buyer in a seller's market, those kinds of things, okay? And so you're going to write down the titles. This is before you go, right? You're going to kind of write down the titles of what you'd like to get video clips for that interview for, Right? So you want to go in prepared so you know what to ask them. And then if you get other things, that's a bonus. But this is just so that you can look like a professional when you're interviewing your clients. Now, this may be in person at the closing table, or you may call up a past client and do a Zoom or a Skype call. Either one is fine. Um, 
in fact, nowadays, Skype calls are really nice because you just get that video to download right away, right? So that could be great. And then at the very bottom of here, I said, um, seller approves use of video in marketing materials. Now, if you're at the closing table, they're signing a million forms anyways. You could probably get them to sign this. I don't think that you really need to have a signature like a, um, a, a oh shoot, what are they called? A model use form, something like that, because this is um, not necessarily for advertising. This is for like a like a commercial that would go on television. This is more for informational use for your um, prospects and your clients. Um, but it never helps to have a signature. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, marketing artfully.